just as we can differentiate with respect to different variables, we can integrate with respect to different variables. So let's consider a very um, few simple examples of this idea. Suppose I integrate x to the 3 with respect to x. So the integral of x cubed dx. Of course, from the power rule, this amounts to x to the 4 over 4 plus c. But there is nothing special about using the variable x. I could use any other variable and the power rule would apply the same. I could say I'll integrate t cubed with respect to t. Therefore, the integral of t cubed dt. And we apply the power rule just the same. We, different, we add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent plus c. And of course, if you differentiate this function with respect to t, you get t cubed. And you can use, of course, any other variable. So integral of u cubed du is u to the 4 over 4 plus c. Integral of v cubed dv equals v to the 4 over 4 plus c. And you could also integrate with respect to y as well. The integral of y cubed with respect to y is again y to the 4 over 4, of course, plus c. One little remark now that may look trivial, but this will be important when we consider integration by parts. If I integrate simply dx, remember that when you have simply dx, it really is the integral of 1 times dx And now you're looking for a function of x whose derivative is 1. This is, of course, simply x. Or you can think of it in a different way. Think of dx being the differential of the variable x. And of course, the integral is the opposite operation than differentiation. So if you take the differential of x, then you integrate. It cancels, and you're left with x. And this goes the same with any other variable. So the integral of dx is x plus c. Integral of dy is y plus c. Integral of du is u plus c. Integral of dv is v plus c. So again, think, in, think about this in any way you want. If you integrate a differential, you undo the operation and you get the variable back. Or Think of the differential being 1 times the differential, and then, of course, you get, as an antiderivative, the variable. Let's look now at just two final examples. So suppose we said integrate 2 square root of y minus y squared plus 4 with respect to y, so dy. Well, if we wish to use the power rule, well, we write first the root of y as a power of 1 half. So 2y to the 1 half minus y squared plus 4. And now with properties of integration and the power rule, we're good to go. 2, we add to the exponent 1 half. Uh, 1, so 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. We divide by 3 half, but if you divide by 3 half, you multiply by 2 over 3, minus power rule y cubed over 3, plus, of course, 4y plus c. Of course, in the end, you'd write this as 4 over 3. So you see, whether you have an integral with respect to x or with respect to y, it works the same way. Let's do one more. If I were to integrate, say, v cubed, plus 2v minus 5 over v with respect to v dv. Well, now we have a quotient. We know we cannot integrate over a quotient directly, but as we are dividing by a single variable v, we can divide through and then use the power rule. So v cubed over v is v squared, plus v over v is 1, so plus 2, minus 5 over v, and I will leave this as 5 over v, as it is our exceptional case. And finally, we're left with the power rule, v cubed over 3, 
plus 2v minus 5, and of course 1 over v integrates to ln of absolute value of v plus c. So there you go. So always keep this in mind. We can differentiate with respect to different variables, and we can also integrate with respect to different variables, but everything works the same. If you're ever in doubt, ask yourself, what would I do if it was an x? Do the same thing with the other variable. And that's it.